Laura. I'm going to show you how to make a paper train. In this video, I'll start with the locomotive. You'll want to use this template, which is always available for a small fee from my Etsy shop. The address is at the bottom of your screen. Occasionally, you'll be able to find it for free on the download section of my website at fanforonbylaura.com. Print your template on paper or cardstock. Using cardstock will help your train to last longer. You'll also need something to color with, scissors, glue, tape, and possibly a hole punch. All right, so this is a steam locomotive, which means that it gets its power from steam that is generated by burning fuel, such as wood or coal. I am trying to make it look realistic, so I am making it black, which is a color that lots of steam locomotives used to be. You could also use colors like red, gold, green, or brown. Those were also used in steam locomotives. The part I'm coloring is going to be the half round part that makes up the engine. This is the front. This is the base. It'll be facing the ground when you put it together, so you may not want to waste your time coloring that part. This is the cab of the locomotive, and this will be the back, the sides, the front, and the roof of the cab. I drew a person in the window. He might be the fireman who is shoveling wood or coal into the engine, or perhaps he's the engineer. I also added a number, and that number might be used by the train company to identify this locomotive. Side note, if you want to put a person in this window, this direction will be front, so you might want the person to face that way. This is the last page of pieces for the locomotive. This is the cow catcher, so it could move cows that might be on the train tracks out of the way so the train wouldn't uh, run them right over. This right here will be the smokestack. You can see I didn't bother coloring the lines because I'm going to cut it out. And then these are the wheels, and I've already done all the coloring that I want to do on that. I am cutting around the edges of everything as you can see on that black dashed line. Just going to cut around the outside of all the pieces. The wheels don't actually have a dash line around the very edges, so just cut around the outside on both sets. All right, my hands are a little sore. I cut out all my pieces, took a little while, but I got through it and I'm ready to fold. So the wheels do not need any folding. The smokestack does not need any folding, which leaves us with these four pieces. You're going to fold backwards on all of the gray dotted lines, just like this. And I always line up my edges to make sure I'm making a straight fold and press down to make sure I'm really folding great. Okay, so do that. Do that for all of these tabs here, all the way around here. here and here and then this little piece is going to be a little trickier pull both sides back trying to find my dotted line here to make sure I'm folding in the right place and then don't miss this little fold right here. Just like that, because it's going to get put together like this. Okay, final thing that I need to show you 
make sure that you don't forget to cut on these lines right here. And if you need to, you can carefully stick the end of your scissors in there just to get your hole going. Or you can fold a little bit right there and then cut on the fold. That's another trick. Okay. And right here, it's not super important that you cut on the lines. It's just important that you cut to the edges. And then you can see that there's gray dotted lines right here. And that's because you're going to fold these little parts back as well. Like this. And your smokestack is going to be going in here. Alright, I got all my tabs folded. And I want to make sure that if you colored your locomotive black, you don't do the same thing that I just did. And forget that there are also some gray dotted lines and a couple of other places that you might have covered up with the black. So... One of them is right here. One of them is right here. And the last one is right here. To assemble your locomotive, start by attaching the cab to the base. You can do that with tape or with glue. I'm using a glue stick, so go ahead and put glue on your bottom tabs, and then you're just going to line those up with the edges of your base. And of course, anytime that you're using a glue stick, you want to press down really securely so it will adhere well. Just like that. Okay. Next up is going to be this roof, which is going to go right here. So I'm going to put glue on all five of these tabs. and then press that together. You may need to hold this for a couple of minutes to make sure that it's all together. You might need to stick your finger right down in here. Um, if you wanted to use a little tape, see mine's not sticking real well, you can kind of roll it up and stick it in here like that or you can put a strip along the outside and I'm gonna do the same thing over here help it stick better just like that all right now your engine piece is going to get glued underneath the base like that so instead of putting your glue on this side put it on this side and I am sticking my fingers inside of it just to press down and make sure it's attached securely now this piece right here, you can put glue on that and put it right in here like this. Or what I have decided might be a little easier is to put glue on the back side. 
press it down like so. And then your cow catcher is going to go just right over the top of that. So you won't even see that that's there. So to put cow catcher together, you need a little bit of glue or tape on this little spot right here. Attach these edges. And glue it onto the front. Okay, there's that. Next up, I'm going to do the wheels. The big wheels go in the back. And the small ones in the front, just like this. So, a couple ways to attach these. You can put glue on the back of this, or you can choose to use some tape, which might be a little easier. So, you can make little circles with the tape, as I was doing earlier. And if so, attach them to the straight line that goes through the wheel, or you can just put tape right over in these gaps, like that. I kind of like it when you can't see the tape when the project is finished. So that's why I am doing these little tape circles. And then when you have at least three pieces of tape or all your glue, line up this edge with this edge and the front right here. Press it together to look like this. I got a little gap so I need to press better. And then do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Last thing that I need to work on is my smokestack which looks like this. There's actually a little line here that's hard to see over my black marker, and that line is just where you are going to be folding to. So you're just going to turn it in a circle like this, and this edge touches the black line like that. You can tape it, you can glue it, whichever you would like. I'm going to use some tape. All my black markers turning my fingers colored. And then take your smokestack and stick it right in that hole that you made at the front of your locomotive's engine. The last thing I want to show you is this piece right here that's sticking off the back of the locomotive. If all you want to make is the locomotive, then you're done. You could actually cut that piece off if you want to. However, if you would like to attach your locomotive to a box car or a passenger car or a caboose, all of which I have videos to show you how to do that, you're actually going to need to punch a hole right in the middle of this square. So I've got a little spot there to help you figure out where to punch. You can use a hole punch or um, you know you could stick something else as thin and kind of sharp through there. Just do so very carefully, and then that is ready to attach the next piece. To learn how to make the box car, passenger car, and caboose, look for my paper train parts two and three videos.